Hey guys, today we have this 2016 Lexus RX350. We will be performing a real rear brake pads replacement. And um, the rotors are pretty good, I believe. So we looked at it, but we're gonna show you again. But the pads are a bit low, it's about there. So let's, let's get to it, let's get started. Alright, the first thing we need to do is lift the car up. But before we remove everything from the wheels, let's go ahead and open the uh, brake, brake reservoir right here. So it doesn't build up pressure when, you, when we push the calipers. So we have that. And then let's go ahead and um, remove these wheels. We're going to be starting on the um, rewrite the farthest end of the brakes. All right, so we got the wheels out. Before we actually continued working on the brake pads for this car, as you can see, this one has an electronic parking brake. See this? That's connected to your piston the caliper piston and you cannot just um, remove these and push this in what it does is it's locked right now see this you can't even turn these rotors so what we're gonna do we're gonna disengage it from the top make sure that it's gonna be in a service mode for the parking brake I'm gonna show you how it's done all right the first thing we're gonna do turn it on Okay, all the way on, that's on. Then engage it by pulling it back. See that? That's engaged. And then, what we're gonna do is go down. Just we'll be working on the passenger rear first. Let's go ahead, disconnect the driver's side rear parking brake. Disconnected. And then you're gonna have a, of course you're gonna have um, um sign here that it's not good. So then disengage it. You can hear that. It's gonna be disengaged all the way until it stops. Now we're done. Let's go ahead and um, remove these as normal. Okay. Once you make sure the, um, the parking brake is off, you can go ahead and start removing this bolt. This one is size 14, so let's remove that. And then we can start removing these calipers, these pads, and we can push that um, piston back in. Okay, so once we remove these two bolts here, the size 14 socket right here now that's loose we should be able to like um, move these as you can see if you like you can actually remove this connector for your parking brake let's go ahead so we so we won't um, um break that one put it in the side okay. so once that's out this will be able to move out here as you can see there you go that's out right there and then we can replace these pads that, these pads that we have here and then we can push these calipers in all right so now as you can see we'll be able to push this caliper with no problem, with the ease, because the parking brake is not engaged. Let me show you. 
start pushing this with no bind and be able to replace it. So just gonna be very gentle. This should be this should not be hard to do it. See that? Now we can retract it all the way in because the rear parking brake is already not in the way. It's all the way in. So to that, just be gentle. Make sure we don't. So that be, be very gentle. All right. So what you're gonna do? Let's go ahead. Um, Remove these pads. And be careful because this clips and all might fall off on you. This clip might fall on you, so to just be careful to remove it. There you go. Once that's out, and that is out there. Let's go ahead and try the new one if it fits perfectly. Sometimes you get the wrong part. So that's pretty good. And we'll have a, um, we'll have a brand new clips. Nothing wrong with my, this clips here, that's retainer. I'm just gonna keep that one. However, I have this backing plate here that I will be reusing. So it doesn't come with my brand new ones. So when I remove that, that's what it looks like. So get that out. And then let me see the difference. This has a sensor in here. See? A little bit sensor, we can put that here. We can put that back here. And reuse that one actually it goes in the bottom you can reuse that and put this back in because my mine doesn't come with it or i can double check okay, so the brand new one actually comes with the sensor little metal piece so i had to re replace that but this one doesn't come with these so i can reuse that one with no problem and nothing pro this has no problem i'm just gonna reuse that too Put the new one in there and um, maybe the same thing in the back side so what i'm gonna do is always do it one at a time so i won't be confused so back here go ahead and pry it as well slowly so we won't damage the rotors or anything let's go ahead um, get a new one remove this plate just a top plate. And this one, I can discard the, um, the first one. So it comes in a brand new one. But the keeping this very back plate. There you go. You got a new one here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it back together right here. See that? That should be there. Mm -hmm. The difference with our holding new is pretty significant. So that, so we need it's time to replace. Especially um, on the owner of this car doesn't really have much time to. Um, service the car so whenever it's needed we just go ahead and replace them so we're gonna put this back here just gonna be very careful and you don't have to put too much force in there so that's good so what I'm supposed to do actually is clean this too with a brake cleaner Spray it real quick, you know, so everything is clean. Same thing with the calipers, clean that. 
And then we go ahead and push this in. All right, so now we got it retracted. We got a new pads here. And um, we push that piston all the way in. We're gonna put a, um, of course, a, um, a grease where the contact contact points at, which is right in a caliper right here. And then on the back side of these two. That's where the contact points out, so there's no squeaking or anything. And then we're gonna put it back. It's normal. Make sure those boots are not pinched so you won't have any problem. Of leaking any fluid. So let's go ahead and put this in. There you go. That's it. That's in. Let's put the bolts back in. Once you put the bolts back in, we tighten it, torque it. All right, so we got that installed, and this is torqued down the bolt. So we're gonna do next. So we're done with the passenger passenger side. Let's reconnect the that um pack and brake and let's go ahead reconnect the other side the driver's side as well so we're gonna redo do the same thing again so we, we go up here to our to the car we're about to do the driver's side now so turn on the car again as you can see it's on let's go ahead and release this release the parking brake so that's gonna you hear the whining noise until all of them are even then what I'm gonna do reapply it again to so reset once you reapply it the parking brake I'm gonna go ahead disconnect the passengers I mean the drive yeah, the passenger side now because we're working on the driver's side. Let's go ahead, disconnect this one now. As you can see, see, it's tight. Disconnect this now. Let me see if I can disconnect it with one hand. It's not easy. Okay, mm. so the passenger side is disconnected. And then we're gonna go back up and release the parking brake one more time so the whole thing is going to be released the, the driver side will be released you hear that let's see if you can hear it yeah take a couple seconds to release fully and then it will stop you can still hear it there you go. Now that stop. Now you're ready to work on the driver's side. Let's go turn it off. All right, let's go. All right, now we're ready to um, work on the driver's side. The same thing as usual. We're just gonna remove this first, replace the pads. When we replace the pads, we can contract that again easily, just like what we had in the passenger side, because this is fully retracted. And when we're done, we're going to reset everything again. All right, so we tied everything, put everything back. Now let's go ahead, connect the electronic park and brake. That's the driver's side. And let's go ahead, connect the passenger side electronic park and brake. All right, 
So technically we can just go ahead put back the um the wheels and we're good to go. But before I do that, I'm gonna go up here to the car. I'm gonna turn on the car. On and then I could engage it so they will close. There you go. And I can disengage it. There you go. Engage them again. So that's good. That's good, guys. And let's put everything back together. So when the car is done, put the wheels back, torque it. Let's go ahead and start the car and see if we have any codes in it. There you go. As you can see, we don't have any codes. So everything is perfectly fine. The parking brake is on, of course, because it's on right now. If you turn it off, see that? Turn it on and off. So everything is fine. So that's how you do it, guys. That's the easiest way and the fastest way to deal with um, replacing the brake pads for um, rear brake pads that has um, electronic parking brake. For this one, this is the um, 2016 RX 350 Lexus SUV. And I hope you like this video. Till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you guys. Uh, one, one more thing guys, because we remove the um, electronic parking brake. I normally use my scan tool to um, read it one more time. And you have something here, the open circuit. That's what it show in the ABS, that's part of it. So what I'm gonna do is clear it. Go ahead, go ahead, clear the fault code open circuit as you can see it's history so it's not like active let's go ahead and clear it once it's cleared this shouldn't be in there anymore and this one the air condition has always been there before even I perform this um, job so I can actually um I was supposed to um, fix that later on if I clear it it doesn't come out it's still there see always oh, it'll come back i know it will come back but everything is good now all right guys that's it just to make just to show you that you don't forget those things and it might show up later while the customer is already out and about so all right let's try to start it there you go as you can see no light and everything hey <laughs> all right guys see you the next time